Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a couple months, but I am back. The reason why I stopped making videos, which I'll explain like later in the video, um, was because at the time I was working at Sephora and there was like some weird conflict of interest thing there and I wasn't able to make videos, unfortunately. But I don't work at Sephora anymore and I'm actually finally all moved into my new apartment with my boyfriend, Matt, and I can start making videos again. Makeup is where it's at for me, so... I don't know. I'm gonna try and make this a thing. Like, officially make this a thing now. So, if you want to see my updated makeup routine, then keep watching. Okay, so I've already primed my face with the Benefit Professional Nat Rescue. For my everyday go-to foundation, I actually mix um, two things. I use the Dermacol Makeup Cover in shade 208 and the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation in shade Porcelain. So what I do is I go in just with my finger and I pick up just a little bit of the Dermacol and then just dot it over my face. This stuff is the most full coverage foundation I have ever tried. And because I have this birthmark on my face here, it's always been really hard finding products that like can cover it up well under foundation. So I was hoping when I purchased it that it would be able to cover up my birthmark without me having to put another layer of concealer over it. And my prayers have been answered because this stuff covers just it's just a whole nother layer of skin basically but it's really thick so what i do i just take my beauty blender and a bit of this um tarte foundation because this is so thin it just blends out the thicker consistency of the dermacol a lot better and also i'm pretty sure i have the lightest shade of the dermacol foundation obviously why wouldn't i get the lightest shade because i'm so pale but it has a little bit too much of a pink undertone for my skin and the porcelain shade of the tarte foundation um is a little bit more neutral so it kind of balances it out and it doesn't crease throughout the day it's just i don't know it's just a really good combination so i do my foundation and then i actually go in and do my eyebrows before i do my concealer and i've hit the bottom of my um anastasia dip brow i use a shade medium brown there's no way in hell i can look at the camera while i'm doing this so bear with me Okay, so I just went ahead and concealed underneath my brow after I filled them in. So now I'm just going to take some Tarte Shape Tape, which has become my just number one concealer I've ever used out of any in my whole life. So fun fact, everyone. When I started my YouTube channel, I had gotten a job at Sephora. It was actually one inside of a JCPenney, and I worked there for like a little shy of a year. I had always, always, always wanted to work at Sephora. If anyone knows me, they know how obsessed I am with Sephora. So that was like the coolest thing. But eventually, someone mentioned to um, the JCPenney manager, I guess, um, about like YouTube, my YouTube videos and everything, and they told me that I couldn't do them. And I should have looked into it more, honestly. But basically, I was told if I wanted to work at Sephora, I couldn't do my YouTube videos. And at the time, I mean, I wasn't going to quit my job, so... <sighs> Whatever. So, stop doing YouTube. But, I quit Sephora a couple months ago, even though I loved being the atmosphere of Sephora every day. Um, had to be a an adult and go get an adult job and so I have a full-time job now and I absolutely love it I love my co-workers I love the job itself and I can make YouTube videos now anyway so after I finish concealing I always just go in and set everything with my powder I've been using this Maybelline fit me powder um, in shade 110 for like years it really has always worked well with all of the different foundation foundation a little bit foundations I've tried Make sure that my lids are all set. Sometimes I just go in. I'm just going to go in with a little smaller brush here. Oh my god, I've been loving the Luxie brushes. The It Cosmetics brushes and the Luxie brushes are my favorite. I have a big eyelid. So it gets right on my eyelid like pretty, pretty perfectly. Cool, so now I'm going to contour using Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette, uh, the powder version. This one is perfect for contouring because... It's not too orange, just, I personally think it's got a bit of like a grayish undertone, like not too much obviously because you don't want your contour to be too gray, but for the shade of my skin it really just works. So in other news, I actually have my own apartment now, 
which is why my background may look a little different than some of my previous videos. Um, my boyfriend and I moved in about a little over a month ago, and I'm loving it, and it's, it's like a two-bedroom, so, you know, the room that I'm in now is like, I have my desk situation and I have like a good area to um, film and everything now. And he has his little gaming section over there. Um, because I believe he's actually going to start like live streaming on Twitch. So it's our little computer filming room, I guess. But it works out really well. Moral of the story, have an apartment, really happy about it. Have a full time job, just everything is. Uh, Coming together nicely. Okay, can't forget my nose. I always contour my nose. I think I've had this Coastal Suns brush for like five years at least. But it's still going strong, so why get rid of it, you know? Whatever. Rule of life, just blend. Just blend all your imperfections away. Contour done. I want to blush. I have been loving um, Nars Orgasm. Like I feel like I'm so late to jump on this bandwagon, but um, I got a little little baby size one from one of the. I think it was like a 500 point pair from Sephora. This little guy, honestly, has lasted me like six months now. I'm not. I haven't even hit pan yet, and I use it like every day. I love like the little sheen that it has, and I like how well it just blends in with my contour. And what I usually do actually is I typically wait till the end of my whole uh, makeup routine or whatever um, to do my highlight. Don't you just love it when your camera card is full and you don't even notice until you're done doing your eyeshadow? To fix the situation, already did my eyeshadow though, um, basically use the Jaclyn Hill palette. I know everyone and their mother has been using this palette lately. Um, I really like it. Shadows blend really well, all the colors are really, really pretty. So what I usually do every day for like a day-to-day -day neutral kind of look, I just take like this like lighter brown shade, blend it with just a fluffy crease brush, and then I just take a darker shade and I just use um, like a smaller um, detail brush here just to get like right, right there in the uh, corner to just blend it out, you know? So. Now what I do, I like to put um, a shimmer shade on like the inner corner and the center of my lid just to give it a little pop. Do it every day. What I've been doing lately is just using a highlighter. Uh, the highlighter I've been loving lately is the Jeffree Star Ice Cold. Oh my god. It is so intense. Um, it's crazy. And like I want to be like a little bit more extra. Take some good old handy dandy fix plus and just spray that brush. Just blend it there, go halfway through, and then I just take um, like one of the fluffy brushes uh, I first used for the crease shade, or for the transition shade, and just kind of blend them together. And there we have it. I just take a little bit more highlight and just go under the brow. Oh my god, I love this highlighter. And I usually do a wing after my eyeshadow. Um, even on days where I don't wear eyeshadow, I just like to do a wing. Um, it's kind of like one of my signature things, I'd say. Love a good wing. Lately, I've been loving the... Wow! I have been absolutely loving the Kat Von D um, tattoo liner in Trooper, obviously. Black shade, whatever. But I really do have to say that even though this is $20, it's going to last you longer because the drugstore ones dry out a bit quicker. Um, but it really is like the most thinnest tip um, fit liner I have ever used and that really just helps with getting that perfect point you know and then you know try to get them as even as possible pretty good so once the wings are as even as it's gonna get um, I take the Marc Jacobs highliner or just any you know black more like um, pencil eyeliner and put that in my waterline, my upper waterline, because it helps make um, your lashes appear thicker and it kind of hides any little sparse areas that might be in there. Everybody on YouTube always has to put on those um, fake lashes for every makeup tutorial. And 
I feel like for most people, is that really realistic? I mean, maybe they do wear falsies every single day, but if they're not shooting, if they're not making videos, then are they? I don't know. Realistically, I feel like most people don't. For the longest time, I've been using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but I jumped on that bandwagon and got the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. That, honestly, the bottle looks pretty similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, wand looks pretty similar too, in my opinion. So whatever, it's the cheaper alternative. Um, but I really like it. So whatever, I just put some... Put some mascara on. You don't need falsies. I've always done the bottom lashes too. That's that. And then I will do my highlighter. And I'm going to take a combination of Ice Cold and then the Makeup Forever and shade 01. And again, I'm going to be using one of my super old brushes. It's just a Real Techniques... I don't even know what this is called. Honestly, like, the <laughs> Real Techniques logo even rubbed off, so we're just gonna move on. <laughs> Get that highlight a popping, girl. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. It goes from dull to pop it. So last step would be lips. Typically, most days I don't usually even bother wearing a lip. I'll just put on like a like a lip balm. I really love the Urban Decay, um, that Lip Love or whatever it's called, that one that smells like coconut. Oh my god. That stuff is seriously the best. But I'm kind of feeling myself. I'm gonna go for one of the Kylie Cosmetics and Kim Kardashian collab. I really like the shades Kimberly and Kiki, I believe. No. Kimberly and Kim are the ones that I feel like best suit my skin tone. I'm gonna go in with Kim today. It's a little bit more pink. Yay! Alright, so that was my updated everyday makeup routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be putting out weekly videos from this point forward. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Everyone says it in their YouTube videos nowadays, but there's a subscribe button below and if you like this video too I'd really appreciate it. If you've made it this far then I don't know comment below maybe your favorite current makeup product that like you cannot live without. But other than that thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!